Hi guys, in this demo you can see how easy and quick it is to capture streaming video with WebStream Recorder. Ok, let's run the application. It's checking for updates. WebStream Recorder can capture and save any kind of streaming video in order. As a simple example, let's take a popular video sharing service, YouTube. Step 1 is to look for a video on a new game Battlefield 1943. For this test, we take a short video for a minute and a half. Yes, we have it. The program detected the stream and notified us with a sound and text message. Let's close the window with YouTube. As you can see now, the application is recording the video. The title and size of the video are identified. In the same way, the program captures Windows Media, Real Media, Shoutcast and other streams. While the capture is in progress, let's take a look at a very useful feature – Scheduled Recording. As you can see, the task list is empty, so let's add a new task. In this dialog, you can enter the exact URL address of the stream and desired file name. You can also select the type of the stream if the software cannot detect it automatically. You can schedule the record to start on a specific day of the week or specific date. You can also schedule the start time and duration of the record in minutes. We are saving the task. Oh, I forgot to enter the address of the stream. But it's not important now. The program tells me the video stream has been captured. Well, let's see what we have. You can do it either through the context menu or through the main toolbar. The media player is starting. As you can see, the length of the record is 1 minute 34 seconds. Well, wow. okay, so much about the video. If you like it, you can play it on Xbox or PlayStation. WebStream Recorder can capture more than one stream simultaneously. Let's see how we can do it using the same example with YouTube. Here they are, two newly captured videos. If you do not need the video, you can stop it and delete. We won't wait until the second video is loaded. Let's see what we have in the settings. Here we can choose interface language, the target folder to save the video, and customize other options. Not many. Well, I didn't say it would be too hard. Well, as you see, we just start the recorder and it does everything for you. The only thing you do is open the desired video, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.